Welcome to another episode of Mr. Yu's Garage. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace an air cleaner. So this is an air cleaner for a 2017 Jeep Compass. This one's round. Many of them are flat. The purpose of this is to draw air through it and filter out all the dust particles so they don't get into your engine and cause excess wear. So on many cars, this is a pretty simple operation. But on this Jeep, it's a little more difficult. So I thought I'd show it to you on this one since it's the most difficult air cleaner removal that I can think of because most just have a couple little clips inside of an air box. You just pop them open, take off the little box, and boom, they're done. This one has a bunch of screws and a bunch of other things in the way, so it's a little more difficult. So I'm gonna go through the steps with you here. The great thing for this job is I only need one tool, a simple Phillips head screwdriver. But I also have this, which is a ratcheting screwdriver, which will come in handy for some tight spots. But I don't need to have it for this job, it just helps. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is remove this, because it attaches to the air cleaner box. This is actually the intake where the air goes in, it goes through that hole, comes out that hole. So. Now that we've taken that out, so there's a screw here, a screw here, a screw back there, a screw here, a screw there, and a screw way back in that corner. And I gotta undo all of those in order to get this thing off. So we're just going to start unscrewing them. I'm going to do that on every single one of these until it's off. This is where my little ratcheting screwdriver comes in handy. Otherwise, it would be a total pain to get this screw out back here. It's in a pretty tight spot. But a little short-handled Phillips head screwdriver will also do the trick. So one thing you can always count on when you're working on cars is that you're going to run into something that you didn't expect. This bolt right here also is in the way. So I have to remove it. I wasn't expecting to do that. So it takes a 10 millimeter socket and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my socket wrench to take it off. Okay, now that our bolt is undone, we're going to lift this up and move it out of the way. And we see our dirty air cleaner. Ooh, look at all those bugs and stuff stuck in it. You don't want those in your motor. So we're just going to pull it off. That's all it takes. And now it's out. So now we're going to take our new nice and clean one. And we're just going to put it right here. So this tube, right down here, this tube, this goes into the engine. So there's a whole on the other side of this, and this is plugged. So the air has to go through the filter part and we just push it right down on. That's all it takes. It's just, you gotta just kind of shove it back and forth until it goes in, which I'm sure looked great on the camera, but it's hard to do with just one hand. But that's it. It's shoved on there and we just gotta close everything back up. So we just got to put all the screws and the one bolt back in and away we go. So we'll just ratchet this guy back down. Once he's on there tight, which he is, and then we'll put all our screws back in. Sometimes in life, you have to do a little bit of problem solving, just like you do with cars. And sometimes 
the tool that you thought would work doesn't work and you have to try something different. So I found it easier to use a socket wrench with an 8mm socket than a screwdriver. Okay, so we just need to tighten up this one last screw here and we will put the intake back on and that'll do it. One quick thing I wanted to show you though while we were here because you can see it easily on this car. This thing that's sitting on top of the air cleaner box is the powertrain control module. Well, what is that? That is the computer inside of the car. So when everybody talks about the computer having problems, this is it right here. This is the computer system for this particular car. Most cars it's hidden in some place that it's hard to find and hard to see. But in this particular car, it happens to be right up on top. So I just thought you guys would like to see that. Okay, so let's just put this back on, slide it into place, and turn these little knobs so it's back down, and that's it. It's all done. You can take off to driving again. You should do this every 10,000 miles or do whatever it says in your manual. The owner's manual has the information for when you should change your air cleaner. You can also look it up online. I do it every other oil change because that seems to be about 10,000 miles. So thank you for watching another episode of Mr. Use Garage, and we'll see you next time.